Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to create a confidence interval to estimate a population proportion. So in this problem, a random sample of 2,202 adults age 18 and over were asked, are you happy overall in your career? And of those surveyed, 995 said yes. So we're asked to find a confidence interval at the 95% level to estimate the percentage of all American adults who are happy with their career. Okay, so just to get started, remember that your population is all American adults. This is your population. This is a group you want to study. Okay, you're asking a categorical question. Are you happy overall? So people will answer yes or no. So we're going to want to be able to estimate P. And P is the proportion of all adult Americans who are happy overall in their career. Okay, again, this quantity is unknown. Um, to find it, we'd have to survey every American adult in the country. Instead, what we do is we estimate P using a 95% confidence interval. Okay. And so to do this, we begin by saying, all right, let me take a random sample of adults from this population and ask them whether or not they're overall happy with their career. So that's your sample proportion P hat, and out of the 2,202 people surveyed, 995 said yes. So that's equivalent to 0.4519, or you could write that as 45.19% said yes, they are happy overall in their career. So assuming this is a random sample from the population, 45% should be a good estimate as to what the true value of P, your population proportion is. Okay, to get a range of values that we are quite confident contain this true population proportion, we'll use a confidence interval. Okay, so to do that, the confidence interval, every confidence interval always has two pieces. One is the point estimate, and the second um, to that, you add and subtract your margin of error. Okay? The point estimate in this case, um, first of all, a point estimate means your one number best guess as to what P is. So just off to the side, think about that your population proportion, because it's a proportion, will be some number between 0 and 1. That's the true proportion of people who are happy in their career. Okay? Our point estimate in this case, based on our sample, is our sample proportion, this number right here, 45%. So on the number line, I could mark that. Okay, and so on the number line, that's going to be about 0.45. Okay, so that's my estimate as to what P is. So that's my P hat, is my point estimate, and I believe that is 0.45. And then I'm going to add and subtract to that a margin of error. Okay, and the margin of error has this form. It's Z star, and Z star is controlled by your level of confidence times your standard error. Now there's one way we have to just tweak this standard error formula. Right, the standard error formula says you need to know what P is, but we're trying to estimate P. We don't know what P is when we're doing the confidence interval. So what we do is replace P by its estimate, P hat. Okay, so here's your formula for the confidence interval. Okay, to get Z star, this is the number of standard errors you need to move in each direction to trap the middle 95% of the area. And from the empirical rule, we know this is about, um, about two standard errors. It turns out it's exactly 1.96, and you could read about that in the lesson notes. Okay, times the square root of p hat, which was 0.4519, times 1 minus 0.4519, divided by the sample size 2202. So if you work this out, you get that the whole margin of error turns out to be 0 0.0208. And then if you put this together in a confidence interval, so what you want to do then is to um, add and subtract 0 0.0208 from 0 0.45. Okay, so if you take 0 0.45 
and subtract off 0.028, you get 0.4311. And if you add on 0.0208 to your point estimate, you get 0.4727. And this is your 95% confidence interval. So to recap, what does it tell you? It's telling you it's an estimate for your population proportion. So this is saying we are 95% confident that the proportion of all American adults who are happy in their career is somewhere between 43% and 47%.